Hey guys, so this is going to be my first video in my new series about my sea monkeys. Um, if you watched my previous video, Pet Smart Haul Plus Sea Monkeys, you would have seen that I recently picked up this sea monkey kit at Toys R Us for $12. And I also showed you my other little sea monkey tank that I've had running for a couple weeks now. Um, if you don't know what sea monkeys are, they've been around for a really long time. But the other tank I showed in my previous video is actually the first time I've had them. I never had them when I was little, so I thought I would get them now and do a video series on them. What these are are actually just little brine shrimp. You might have seen them in like pet stores before. They're just little like clear shrimp that a lot of people actually use for pet food. But the Sea Monkeys is just a name brand and they have them for little pets. So the kit I have here is called On The Moon Mini World and just add water and it comes with everything you need to get started and on the back it just shows you a little bit more information about it so I'll go ahead and open this up and take a closer look so here is everything that the kit came with which is everything you need for your sea monkeys um here of course is the little tank this one like I said is called on the moon and here's the lid it does have a few magnifiers built in because when they hatch they are very very tiny and hard to see and it also has like a few little air holes. Um, in here there are just some little plastic and rubber things. Um, these are little aliens and then a little flag and a little UFO and a bottom. And then it is pretty small as you can see on my hand. These are very, very small tanks. So if you're thinking about getting one, I'm sure you could find a place to put it because they are very, very tiny. Over here are the three packets that you need for your sea monkeys. This is the water purifier, which I'll be doing first. After you do that, you wait 24 hours, and then you put in packet number two, which is actually the live eggs, which will hatch into the sea monkeys. And then this is the growth food. Now, it does look like it's pretty difficult to get more growth food just because you have to order through the mail. Um, you can use a slip on here, or there's a website where you can print off a form, but you actually can't order online. So I'm not really sure how easy it is to get more food. Um, but this should last a really long time because you only feed them every few days and you feed them a very, very small amount. I've also been looking online and I think there are some alternatives online that are the same thing because this is just a type of green algae. So I'll probably be doing that if I run out of food. Here is just a little tiny food scoop it comes with. The little end is the end you use for the food and then the big end is if you buy some extras. Um, through the mail-in thing that you don't really need, but so I'll just be using the small end. Over here is just more information about the sea monkeys along with all the products available and a little order form, like I said, if you want to order stuff through the mail and the instructions. So we'll go ahead and do the first and second step in this video and then we will wait and come back for the next video when I feed them the first time. So for the first step, all you do is take the lid off and get some room temperature bottled water and fill up the tank. It does say the best temperature is about 76 degrees for your sea monkeys. Uh, my apartment is pretty chilly right now since it is winter, so it's not that high, so it is gonna take a little bit longer for them to hatch. It says it should take about four to six days for the sea monkeys to hatch in my current weather. Um, my other ones did take a little bit longer, so we'll see. So I have that almost to the top and then I'm just going to take my number one packet which is the water purifier and pour this in. This just makes sure that the water is completely safe and clear and then just stir it around a little bit. As you can see there is some little white liquid or some white powder in there which is the purifier. So just stir that around a little bit and then you actually wait 24 hours just to make sure everything is out of the water and it is safe. And after 24 hours, I'll be back in this video to add the instant egg. So it's been right around 24 hours since I put the water purifier in. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the eggs in. So as you can see, all the little white purifier is gone, which means I waited long enough. I'm just going to open this up. If I can get it open. And just sprinkle the whole packet around the tank. So that is all there is to it. Um, as the directions say, you wait five days until you feed them for the first time. Just because since my house is cooler, it should take about four to six days for any of them to hatch. And there is a little bit of food in the instant egg package. 
so they do have enough food to last them for a while. One thing it doesn't say in the directions that I have read online is how important it is to aerate your tank, especially when um, the sea monkeys are really young. Right now I've just been using a straw to barely blow in my other tank to get some air in there, but I actually did just order a syringe online, just a little syringe so I can push some air bubbles in there. So that is one thing you'll need to do that it doesn't say in the instructions is aerated. There's a lot of different options you can do. The Sea Monkeys brand does sell a little um, aerator thing, but of course you have to order that through the mail and that just seems like too much work. So I'm just going to see if a syringe will work. So like I said, um, this has to wait five days hopefully around there for them to hatch and I'll feed them. And this is going to be it for this video. I will have a part two coming up showing when they first hatch and the first feeding. Um, so make sure to thumbs up this video if you're enjoying this series. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.